Okay, back with another patch in voltage modular. This is likely going to be similar to the ones I've done already, but maybe a little different. Going to add a zero oscillator and going to add uh, a wavetable oscillator from Weevil. And let's just listen to the, we'll use the triangle this time. I'm usually using the sign, but triangle can work too. So we'll just FM through the modulator input with the wavetable oscillator. I'm just using the default wavetable. So this uh, oscillator has a built-in fold. So that's pretty nice. We'll add a random source. We'll use uncertainty from DMT audio and turn up the probability rate of change in the fluctuating random voltages section. Um, this is like a smooth CV. So we might want to add a filter. Um, going to use this Lyrinx filter from Cherry Audio based on the Synton Syrinx. Um, it's an interesting filter with two peaks, so we can just hear it. We'll take the mix out and raise the peaks. might be nice as well as a filter bank. I like this Agile one. It's called Agile Filter Bank from MRB. Uh, we'll run the filter mix out into it and take the odd to the left and even to the right and bring up some of these bands. So it's got um, this LFO built in. So you can get some nice like stereo stuff out of this module. It's got these filters as well. So we'll add an LFO and clock some of these sections in the random module. And we'll send these to the Q of the filter bank. Maybe not. Let's try it again.
can run some of these random voltages to the peaks of the larynx filter. try these different modes. I think we're already on the best one. So we'll add a stereo mixer. and run these to channel one. And we'll add a couple cherry oscillators. And a quad low pass gate. quad function generator. We'll cycle one, trigger two, and send it to the first channel. So we'll take the sine wave from the first oscillator here and run it to the mixer. We'll mix this clock with our LFO to the stored random voltages and run this to the CV of the FM oscillator. Turn this down. So we'll add some attenuators and cycle this third one and use it just as an LFO for, for the rate of the first one. And we'll send a random to the third one's decay. Try the triangle instead. So we'll add a sequencer. And another row. We'll add a quantizer. So just gonna start this sequencer. This is Octagon from Cherry. I don't know if I've explained it in a previous video, but it's pretty good. It's got built-in ratcheting and skip and random mode and different things. So we'll just set a few steps. We'll put it to like 14 steps and set it to random mode. And run the CB out to the cherry oscillator over here.
and we'll take one of these random voltages, like a slower one, to its rate of its clock. And we'll send its gate out to the envelope that's triggering these two cherry oscillators over here. And... One sec. So I'm gonna set these divisions. You can set the amount of times it'll repeat here and the division at which it'll repeat here. So we'll set this for a few different ones. There you can just hear it. Set this one to one third, this one to six at I don't know, a quarter division. I'm gonna add a sample on hold. and take the sequence out to an attenuator and run it into the quantizer and out of the quantizer into the zero oscillator What did I do? Oh, this isn't it. Balance these a little. We can try running this one to the filter bank as well. This makes it a little faint. So we'll turn down this filter bank and we'll run out of the filter to its own channel on the mixer. And balance that with the filter bank. Slow down these clocks. What might be fun is adding a delay. We'll add this PSP delay EX. It has a feedback loop, so you can send it to like a pitch shifter or something. Can add a pitch shifter as well. Now we'll just take the whole mix output into this. 
which might not be that great, but we'll see how it goes. So we'll run a smooth CV to its rate. and send the send to the pitch shifter and the return back to the delay. Turn up the inputs. Put it on maybe just the feedback. And CV these pitch shifters. Play with the feedback, ping pong. If my computer will allow it, we can add another effect. Sounds like this might be pushing it over its limit for a patch. If it gets too clicky, we'll probably just stop. This is Time Scatter Device by Playertron. It's like a looper audio manipulator thing. It's pretty crazy. We can run a few random CVs to it. Got a wet dry mix somewhere here. Looks like this position is not liking it. It's a bit of a rough sound to end on, but that'll be all for today. Thanks for watching.